Hey everybody and welcome to Never Lose Your Nerd. I'm Brandon. I'm Ishmael. Today we're going to talk about the news that came out over the Obi-Wan series getting delayed. Not canceled, just delayed. Yeah. So there were leaks about the Obi-Wan series about getting uh, canceled and all that, but it was actually totally fake. There were just rumors that were just coming out on social media. And there was leaks about the show and supposedly it was it was like fake and not right i guess yeah i think you were telling me they got debunked yeah right? they got debunked big word for you mm -hmm. the big reason i've seen for this happening is kathleen kennedy who is the president of uh lucasfilm wasn't happy with the scripts and i guess that i guess it pretty much had been written mostly i guess and yeah they, they just weren't happy with it with the story you know what was gonna happen so what well, I read about that they were it was too close to like the Mandalorian. Uh, in what in what way? Like it had the same plot and all that. It had the same scripts and things about like the Mandalorian. Yeah, I I saw something about yeah something like that about it was gonna be close to like yeah Mandalorian where you know how the Mandalorian's taking care of Baby Yoda and all that. Shout out Baby Yoda. Uh, same way with him taking care of Luke, you know? Yeah. But I'm not sure because I don't know if he ever exposed himself to Luke in the show until A New Hope came around. We're not, we're not well, supposedly sure. Supposedly this took place after uh, the death, the Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. And so that means Luke and Leia were already born. So I think there is going to be Luke and a little bit of Leia in this show. Yeah, I've heard that probably, yeah, Leia would show up, possibly Luke, you know, all those characters we know and love. And maybe Yoda again, because Yoda's out there in Dagobah. Oh, yeah, because this is after Revenge of the Sith, so it's not, yeah. it's not when he's dead yet. So, I mean, everybody's excited about this, but now it's going to get delayed. I think I had mentioned in our last video that the Obi-Wan series was going to come out this year. That was actually wrong. They were going to start filming this year, and it was going to come out next year. So. so it's going to come out in 2021? At this point, if they find a new writer and they get the scripts they like, it'll probably start shooting next year, and then the movie will come out 2021. Or the show, I'm sorry, on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, but if they don't do that, it's probably going to come out in 2022. I mean, let, let's hope that they find a, a, a good writer. I mean, the writer's name, forgive me if I get this wrong, is... Hossein Amini or Hossein Amini? Hossein Amini. Yeah, I mean, you can look it up how it, how it's written, but I kind of don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but he seems, was supposed to go. Strange. Yeah, I'm not sure. He was the writer. It might be a, might be a woman. I forgot to look that up. If it's a man or a woman, uh, like I said, they pretty much had written it, I think, and we're going to start shooting this year. They said they brought the crew in. And just told them basically just to go home. We're not going to be filming, so that's kind of weird. So do you, who's who's playing? Um, what's his name? Obi Wan. You and McGregor, the same guy who did it in the prequels. For real? Yeah. Isn't he old looking? No, well, not really. They can make up and the art of film. They can make him make him look younger. You know what I would like to see in the show? What? If they show Luke growing up. Yeah. Um. Said so. This is so. Yeah, if it's eight years after Revenge of the Sith, Luke will be eight. But like I said, I'm not sure if Obi Wan actually like ex came out to. I don't think he did come to Luke until A New Hope. So this whole time he was watching him from a distance. So we might see Luke like he's watching him from a distance. Maybe he runs into him, and I don't know how that would work. If Yoda's in here, would he tell him that he had a kid? Uh, who? Yoda. We'll tell who? Tell Obi Wan that he had baby Yoda. No, I don't think I don't think that's his kid. You I don't. think it's just a Yoda baby Do from you think his it's species. Just a clone? I don't know. Um, that's something we can get into another video, like speculation and fan theory stuff like that. But as far as this goes, the director was Deborah Chow, which she actually had a couple episodes in The Mandalorian. What? And what? She, she was actually in the show. Do uh, you remember? She was the armor lady. No, she was one of the fighters. Remember in that one episode where they got the prisoner, and then there was a three, uh, the three pilots that came and blew up the that ship that guy was on. 
She was actually all three of the directors: Dave Filoni, I believe, Deborah Chow, and there was another guy. Can't can't think of his name right now. Yeah, I know which one you're talking Those about. Those were the directors. When, when it had like the thing to save. Yeah, and... yeah, the homing beacon or tracking device. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like I said, Kathleen Kennedy wasn't happy with it. Director De Deborah Chow, I believe she's still gonna be the director if they go along and find a new writer. Um, but yeah, it actually also got changed. This is kind of. This is kind of something I didn't like. It got changed from six episodes to four. Wow. So that's going to stink. Only four episodes? What's the point of watching it, man? It's kind of dumb. So that means it's, so we're waiting this long for one season to have four episodes. Yeah, I don't know if it's just a one-off one season or if they could have multiple seasons. But yeah, that's what I saw. It's going to be from six episodes to four, which I think that would be pretty pretty depressing if that happens. Yeah, I think they should keep it. Or yeah, just, I would just extend it. it. Just cancel it. Yeah, maybe they will eventually cancel it if they can't find uh, the writers or why the writer they, they want. Why, why don't they use the writer that does the Star Wars movies? Well, which one? There's every movie has a different director, pretty much. J.J. Abrams. Well, well, J.J. Abrams is actually. There's another project he's starting. He just got signed to Netflix or something like that, I believe. Did? Yeah. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I actually heard about it uh, today or yesterday, but I don't exactly remember right now. Uh, he got signed to a Netflix deal or he's doing some something else. So I think he's going to be pretty busy. Well, I just looked it up. I had to look it up. I couldn't remember. Uh, he actually signed a $500 million deal to move his Bad Robot production company to Warner Media. So he's going to be doing different projects. I don't know exactly what, Do you, but... Does he make video games? Uh, I don't know. I heard possibly he could be doing something with, like... The new Batman game? Maybe Batman, something like that, maybe. Because there's a new Batman game coming out. Yeah. This year. No, I don't know, because he hasn't started yet with all that, so I'm not exactly sure, but... Originally, Collider and The Hollywood Reporter had the, uh, had the news for the Obi-Wan series being delayed, so... Wanted to give them credit for their sources. They're the ones who came out with it. Well, I guess that's it for now. I said if any more news comes out, if it gets canceled, or if we find out any more information on the delays or the right or anything, we'll do a video about it. Make sure to like. Subscribe. Hit the bell for notification. Yep. And we'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye. bye.